We are John and Ellie, the Barefoot Doctors. Join us on this new chapter on our brand new Leopard 45 catamaran as we unearth the jewels of the med. And the world. Because life is better barefoot. Final preparation. Um, just filling up the water tanks to 100% just before we leave. Um, I've done the oil and the water in both engines. We've opened up the sail out of the boom bag so it can fly quickly when we get out there. I think everything's ready. Done. Leaving the dock at St. Raphael, David keeps us off the pontoon until we are clear, and then he has to jump on the transom. John navigates us out of the marina and into clear water. We head east to cover 15 miles to Cannes. Hoist the main, keeping it clear of all the lazy jacks. We pull out the Coast Zero and the wind was so fluky it made us jive. I wanted to fill on the other side. Oh, we just jive. So we pulled the sail to the port side. Okay, can you pull the red, red rope through, hun? Gentle flat seas passing Antibes and other yachts sailing equally slowly in the five to seven knot winds approaching calm. Time to drop the sails. David's getting the hang of all this sailing stuff by the look of it. We pass cruise liners, super yachts. We drop the pick. Now, check the anchor, you salty sea dogs. Oi, oi, captain. John and David dive on the anchor to make sure it's set well in the sand. And you can see how blue and clear the Mediterranean water is today.
nicely anchored off calm, the notorious sailors midnight struck and we were all falling asleep at 6.30 in the afternoon. Our serenity was soon interrupted by the calm nightlife. So breakfast this morning in Khan. What have we got folks? Croissants with melted cheese, ham, tomato and garlic. Yogurt. Garlic Greek oh. yogurt. Yummy. And also some fresh fruit salad, pine nuts and fresh sweet yogurt. Bon appétit guys. Bon appétit. We're bon in Cannes yes, we and it's a beautiful day. This is where they do the news events for the uh, Cannes Film Festival. So when they're interviewing people, this was a view you saw looking out over all the boats. Now we're heading down to the beach, lots of bins, even in the film festival they still have bins. Isn't that nice to know? <laughs> okay guys, so if you've ever wanted to know what it's like at the Cannes Film Festival, when you come off the promenade there's the beach behind us and there's a big stage there that last night they were singing and playing until how two o'clock in the morning at least so we could was, hear them in our boat way out there but the actual the, the shoreline was lit up like a Christmas tree it was absolutely beautiful and you could just hear the music being pumped out from all the different all the different providers here and then of course you have the beach. So everyone was on the beach until like 8.30, 9 o'clock last night because it didn't start getting dark until then. And then here is a free, the only free films you can see in Cairns is right here on the beach, 9.30 every night throughout the film festival. But you do have to queue for a couple of hours to get in. But so we shared our binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> Citron. So it has a lemony kick, a lemony kick, and then the uh, strawberry. Strawberry. Mm -mm. As David says, scrumdily umptious. <laughs> And here we all are doing our dress rehearsal for the red carpet debut. Natasha strutting her stuff. And David working the crowd. Finally, our 15 minutes of fame.
that is here after the paparazzi. They can stand there and take all the photos for the red carpet. Oh, there's a celebrity right there. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> How do you guys feel? They stole your ride. <laughs> Lucky we prefer to walk. <laughs> and now it's back to the dinghy for us. And on to our next adventure, which is? We're going to a more secluded island, mm -hmm. away from the chaos and Intensity of the Cannes Film, Film Festival. So, Cannes Film Festival, tick. We're just going to pick up the anchor and head off to an island just off Cairns. There's no It's pretty cold. Oh, it's, only, it's, only, it's only cold in patches. Some yeah. patches are nice and warm. And try, and try saying that without stacking the top right okay? <laughs> <laughs> The fellow behind the camera has got his mask and snorkel on. That's why he sounds like he's got a cold. Handling height. It's really important, in my view, to have clearance when you're going over waves. And if you look at this underwing height in the leopard, that tunnel where water's got to flow through when you're going over waves, it's very good, very high. Here's the big holes for draining the front cockpit there and there, and the other one, two, three, four, five, six holes. Hello, honey. Hello. She's a pretty girl then. This is what having a catamaran is all about because you can go swimming in crystal clear water and just hang out in between the holes right here in the shade. It's so cool. Love, love, love. That was my first swim <laughs> since we've been in the med and it was gorgeous. I loved it. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Crystal clear water, turquoise, calm, plopping off the back of the boat and just having a little old swim and explore around. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's lovely. Of course. Look at your hair. Swim hair. <laughs> just call me Einstein. <laughs> it's a gorgeous spot here though. It is. And it's so nice to be out in nature, although we are surrounded by boats. I just hope they've got their tanks closed over. Because <laughs> everyone's swimming around. Yeah, the water's crystal clear. Yeah, it's the lovely. water is very clear. Anyway, we're going to sit here and enjoy it on our front cockpit. Ciao!
and the sun sets on another beautiful day, discovering the jewels of the Med. If you have liked this episode, hit the like button, subscribe for free and ding the dong so you don't miss your fix of the next exciting episode. Love and health from the Barefoot Doctors.